Hey, what's going on YouTube? And today we gotta learn how to create a digital makeup with your Photoshop. Let's get started. A site that you wanna enhance the makeup that your makeup artist already given to the models, you can always recreate the whole looks and I have imported a pictures on my Photoshop and I'm gonna show it to you step by step how to do a digital makeup with your Photoshop the first thing that you want to do is always to remember duplicates the original files just duplicate these layers and go to path and create a new path go to pen tools and just draw a shape of the eyebrow And once you're done pathing, the next thing that you want to do is make a selection out of it. Go to layers, make a new layers, select the foreground colors, choose dark brown for the colors, press OK, and go to edit, and choose fill. And just to be sure that you pick foreground for the contents, and press OK. As you can see, it looks really sharp on the edge. The next thing that you want to do, you want to go to filter, go to blur and Gaussian blur. You want to soften all the edges, maybe around, yeah, around 40% and press OK. Choose the blending mode to multiply and lower the opacity. Okay. Okay, once you are done with that, it's always good to darken the hair colors. Okay, what you can do is click this button and select curve and just lower the curve. Okay, just paint the masking area with black colors. You can click control backspace for that. And you want to paint white only on the eyebrows area. You can always clean up some of the hairs. Just go to these layers and use spot healing brush. Okay, I'm gonna group these two layers and name it as eyebrow. You can always adjust it again if you think that it's too dark. There you go. It should look natural. Once we are done with the eyebrow, the next thing that we're gonna do is the eye shadow. We're gonna zoom into the eye area and start by clicking this button and choose curve. We're gonna darken the eye shadow area and select the masking and click Control Backspace to make it black and you can go to brush and you want to start painting white on the eyeshadow area so just easy on the opacity maybe around 30% and start painting the eyeshadow area you can always find on the net on how does the makeup artist create the eyeshadow so it looks more realistic And as you can see on my screen that we are done masking the eyeshadow area. The next thing that you wanna do, you wanna soften all the edge so it has a smooth transition. So what you can do is you can go back selecting the masking area, but this time around you wanna paint it black, right? So choose black as a color. And you wanna make the opacity really low, around 10%. Make the brush bigger and you want to smoothen the edge so it looks natural. Once you are done making the eyeshadow area darker, the next thing that you want to do is you want to add colors on it. So what you can do is you can click this button and go to hue saturations 
and add the saturations and you can always play around with the colors by adjusting the hue I'm gonna make the eyeshadow colors pink okay once you are done adjusting the colors you want to paint the masking area into a black colors by selecting control backspace and you want to paint white on the eyeshadow area so we are done with the eyeshadow area and you want to make a group for both layers new group from layers and just name it eye shadow okay so we have the eye shader ready and once you are done with the eye shadow the next thing that you want to do is you want to apply uh, eyeliners on the eyelid so what you can do is you can go to puff and make a new puff just name it as eyeliner and go to pen tool and start drawing a lines near the eyelash once you're done puffing the next thing that you want to do is you want to create a selection out of it go to layers create a new layers and just choose dark brown for the colors and go to edit and start filling the colors okay once you're done filling up the colors, you want to make it softer on the edge by using Gaussian Blur. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. You want to make it soft, maybe around 8%. Press OK. Choose the blending option as Multiply. And now, just name this layer as Top Eyeliner. And you're done with the top eyeliner, so you're gonna repeat the same step with the bottom area. And as you can see, I'm done creating the bottom part of the eyeliners. And we're gonna group those two layers and name it as eyeliner. We are done creating a lines near the eyelash, but I find it is still doesn't look natural. So what you can do is you wanna go to the features layers and you want to start using a burn tools so just use around 50% for the exposure and start burning around the black line so it will have a very smooth transitions The last things on the eyes area that you need to do is you want to enhance the eyeballs colors. What you can do is again select this button and go to hue and saturations and adjust the saturations levels. And select this masking area and turn it into black colors by selecting control backspace and you want to paint it white only around the eyeballs area. You can always change the color if you want, maybe make it blue. And we are done with the eye makeup area. The next thing that I want to do is we're going to apply a blush on the cheek. So what you can do is you can go to puff, create a new puff, and start making a selection with pen tool, and you're just going to draw the area that you want to put a blush on the skin and drag the layers to make a selections go to this button and select hue and saturations you want to enhance the saturations adjust the color the way you want it and once you're done adjusting the color the next thing that you want to do is you want to soften the edge by using brush make sure it's in black colors Make the opacity really low, maybe around 10%. And you can smoothen the edge now. And I'm gonna duplicate this layer because I find that it's not big enough. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and move it lower. 
and names those layer as blush. Okay. Not forgetting about the lips, so we're gonna enhance the color by selecting the adjustment layers. Go to hue and saturations, enhance the saturations. You can always click the colorize button. So it's gonna be a solid colors. Make sure that the background is on black colors and click control backspace. And you're gonna pan white around the lips area. Make the opacity around 40%. And I think we kind of get the lips right, so just to be sure that you want to put this on the folder and name it as lips. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to create a shadow on some part of the face, especially on the nose area, because it's going to bring more contour on the overall feature. So the way to do it is you go to this button and select curve. Just lower the curve and control backspace. Use brush and you want to paint it white at the side of the nose. And you can add a bit of shadow on the chin area as well. And under the nose and put this adjustment on the folder as shadow okay once we are done with the shadow we can always put a highlight to make it even better so what you can do is you wanna copy these layers name it as highlight and go to dodge tool put the exposure around 10% and adjust the brush and you wanna create a highlights on the nose area a bit on the forehead, on the chin bone, a bit on the lips, and you can always adjust the opacity later on. And as you can see, we are done. This is the pictures before we edit, and this is the picture after we edit. So I think that's a lot of difference. It looks a lot better. So I'm gonna end this tutorial now. If you find this tutorial is useful, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and I'll see you till the next episode. See you guys.